Hello everyone. I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we'll study about distributed generation and certain power quality issues associated with the distributed generation. A major issue related to interconnection of distributed resources onto the power grid is the potential impacts on the quality of power provided to other customers connected to the grid. First, we discuss one of the major power quality issue and that is voltage regulation. One of the issue that is over voltage due to reverse power flow. If the downstream DG output exceeds the downstream feeder load, there is an increase in feeder voltage with increasing distance. If the substation and voltage is held to near the maximum allowable value, voltages downstream on the feeder can exceed the acceptable range. Another issue with respect to voltage regulation that is in connection with load tape changes and static voltage regulators control. The presence of DG can cause localized changes in flow patterns which are not reflective of the general trend on the feeder. As a result, load tap changes and static voltage regulators can be set such that good voltage profile may not be obtained. Now, the figure illustrates one voltage regulation problem that arises when the total DG capacity on a feeder becomes significant. This problem is a consequence of the requirement to disconnect all DG when a fault occurs. In this figure, figure A, it shows that the voltage profile along the feeder prior to the fault occurring. The intent of the voltage regulation scheme is to keep the voltage magnitude between the two limits. Here we can see the voltage profile and the voltage regulation scheme. We apply the intent of voltage regulation scheme is to maintain the voltage profile between the two limits. In this case, the DG helps keep the voltage above the minimum value. When the fault occurs, the DG disconnects and may remain disconnected for up to 5 minutes. The breaker reclose within a few seconds, resulting in the condition we have shown in the figure B. The load now too great for the feeder and the present settings of the voltage regulation devices. Therefore, the voltage at the end of the feeder sets below the minimum and will remain low until voltage regulation equipment reacts. So here we can see the voltage sag. This can be the better part of a minute or a longer which increases the risk of damage to load equipments due to excessive low voltage. Now we have certain solution which includes 
the requiring customer load to disconnect with the DG. This may not be practical for widespread residential as well as small commercial loads. Also, it is difficult to make this transition seamlessly and the load may suffer downtime anyway. Installing more voltage regulators, each with the ability to bypass the normal delay of 30 to 45 seconds and begin changing taps immediately. This will minimize the inconvenience to other customers. Allow DG to reconnect more quickly than the standard 5 minute disconnect time. This would be done more safely by using direct communication between the DG and the utility system control. Limit the amount of DG on the feeder. We have another issue that is a DG grounding issue. A grid connected distributed generators whether directly or through a transformer should provide an effective ground to prevent unfaulted phases from over voltage during a single phase to ground fault. And this analysis must consider the generator winding configuration or inverter arrangement in another case. Its grounding point, the interface transformer configuration and grounding of both the primary and secondary power systems to which the distributed resources is connected. The next issue of power quality that is very significant that is the harmonic distortion. Voltage harmonics are virtually always present on the utility grid. Non-linear loads, power electronics loads and rectifier and inverter in motor drive are some source that produce harmonics. The effect of harmonic include overheating, equipment failure, faulty operation of the protective device, nuisance tripping of a sensitive load and interference with communication circuits. Distributed generators like photovoltaic fuel cells are likely to introduce harmonic problem in the system. Harmonics from distributed generators come from the inverters and some synchronous machines. One new distortion problem that arise with the modern inverters is that the switching frequencies will occasionally excite resonance in the primary distribution system. This creates non-harmonic frequency signals typically at the 35th harmonic and higher riding on the voltage waveform. This has an impact on clocks and other circuitry that depends on a clean voltage zero crossing. Some solutions include newer pulse width modulated inverters have lower current distortion. Use non-resonant switching frequencies. Use reactors in the neutral or generators with two-third coil winding pitch. Now the next power quality issue that is flicker. Some energy sources for example wind turbine or fuel cell 
has some mechanical or sometime chemical fluctuations in power output and some electrical equipment like the DC bus and inverter does not have sufficient energy storage to smooth out these fluctuations. This will result in fluctuations in the power delivered by a distributed generator and can cause flicker in the power system in a fashion very similar to that caused by load fluctuations. Some solutions include utility companies try to limit flicker so that it is at a level that cannot be pursued by the human eye. This is accomplished by designing the power system to be sufficiently robust so that smaller load variations do not create noticeable voltage variations. It is also controlled by imposing limits on the types of load that are allowed to connect at various points on the system. When a large distributed resource unit is applied on a feeder rapid response voltage regulator like static VR compensators or fast response reactive compensation using inverter reactive power capabilities can do mitigation of flicker. Energy storage technologies can be applied to smooth the output fluctuations of solar and wind energy systems. Our next power quality issue that is protection system. Traditional distribution system were not designed to have active power generating units in them. Power is supplied by the transmission system and power flow is mainly unidirectional. But with the distributed generators in the system, power flow can be bidirectional. Depending on characteristic of the network and distributed generators, various other protection problems can arise like false tripping of feeders, fuse coordinate with recloser, fast trip varies with the DG operation, nuisance tripping of production unit, blinding of protection, increased or decreased fault levels, unwanted eye landing, Prohibition of automatic reclosing, unsynchronized reclosing, and some solution include reduction of reach, adjust relay to increase the reach, add recloser to add another protection zone, minimize distributed generator contribution to ground faults. Sympathetic tripping, directional relays, changes to circuit breaker settings, defeat of fuse saving, larger fuse, minimize distributed generator contribution to the ground faults. So that is all about uh, certain power quality issues associated with the distributed generators. Thank you very much for watching my video. Keep watching. Thank you very much.